Since the dawn of time, the armies of heaven and hell have waged an endless war. Drawn to the conflict was the Charred Council, an entity bound by ancient laws to preserve order and balance. It held that any great power, unchecked, threatened the very fabric of the universe. In time, heaven and hell came to honor the Council and its laws, for none were beyond the swift and terrible justice of the Council's enforcers. A fearsome brotherhood, known as the Four Horsemen. Amid the turmoil, the first humans emerged. The Council foretold that these weak but cunning creatures would someday be integral to the balance. Thus, a third kingdom was named, the Kingdom of Man. By order of the Council, a truce was forged between heaven and hell. The Great Pact was bound by seven seals to be broken at the appointed time, when man's kingdom stood ready for the end war. A battle that would bring balance and determine the ultimate fate of the three kingdoms. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rolak, and I'm welcoming you to my new Let's Play. It's one of my favorite games, and a game that I think you people would enjoy quite a lot. Welcome to Darksiders. And so we begin. So yes, welcome to Darksiders. This is a game made by uh, THQ Nordic. From the, uh, well it was made by THQ in the original times. Uh, they have since gone bankrupt and are under the banner of THQ Nordic. Uh, this is the War Master edition of the game. Uh, it was made, I think, 29? 2009 I think it was? Not entirely certain, but aside from that, let's get into some details about the game. So this game is a hack and slash. Use X to attack. Uh, once enemies are beginning enough, you can press B to execute them. And, get into a new mechanic here. Chaos Form. I won't go into f so much detail with this, because this will become a mechanic much, much later down in the game. For now, just go ahead and easily take care of this enemy right here. Thing goes ahead and gets destroyed. 
I'm going to deactivate it just for the time being. You can use a variety of different attacks with uh, the sword you are currently using. I'm actually curious of something. Hang on. Where are you? Is it not going to pop up? I guess it's not. Never mind. Got a few enemies to take care of here. These guys are real no issue as we are War of the Four Horsemen. Extremely powerful swordsman. Expert fighter. Rider of the Red Horse. You know all the stuff. Got some kind of giant stone creature struggling to get around. And here we are fighting angels. Uh, these angels don't really have a whole lot going on for them at the moment. Again, they're quite weak. Just like the other uh, enemies we've been facing so far. This will all change in due time, though. As they are simply crumbling before us. Alright, with them all defeated, the giant stone creature gets up and gets going on. may sound like I'm not really explaining a whole lot, but I will be explaining quite a bit later down the road. What is happening? With the horn sounding, we have lost a bit of health there, as well as some of our... Well, not some of our moves yet. Let's keep on moving with this big old guy clearing the way for us. That entire building conveniently blocks the path backwards, so that we don't get any smart ideas about doing that. We got more demons and angels to fight, so let's go ahead and dispense some justice. Should be an execute attack there. As for all the basic controls, well, uh, let's go into it. Well, first of all things, obviously control stick is to move. Uh, X button is to attack, B is to do executions, A is to jump. You can do a double jump in this game. Uh, the left trigger, uh, not only does it focus the camera behind you, but it also uh, locks on the nearby enemies. With this strange growth, this is a demonic growth. This is now a traversable, where is it? There it is. It's a traversable uh, wall that is practically just vines from, in like some other games. Gonna take care of these enemies right here. Uh, right bumper is to do a dash attack. Uh, left bumper doesn't really do anything at the moment, but it does bring up the HUD for later use. Uh, right stick obviously controls the camera. And all the other buttons don't do anything as of currently. And what they do exactly, we'll be getting on to later on. Hey buddy! Okay, bye. Some giant demons for us to look at, I guess, because we can't actually interact with them. That's a more demonic growth forming. As well, is there a guy on the building back there? What? What are you doing over there? I mean, it's probably safe up here, but eh, probably not full of flying guys around and whatnot. Uh, while on Demonic Grove, we can also use the right bumper to do a little dash attack to get around faster. Uh, we can also do an attack while on the Grove. It'll mostly just knock them off, won't we actually kill them with any uh, real effort. Anyway, at the very top here. Got more and more minions to take care of, as well as a closed off door. Whoa, and a giant red crystal. Uh, you may have noticed when the enemies popped up, the uh, door here was sealed off. Uh, this indicates that you cannot progress further until you kill everything in the area. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to explain it just for the hell of it. We got quite a lot of enemies here. Go ahead and take them out, no problem whatsoever. There we go. That clears off the seal, and we are free to go on. Let's wrap it around this corner. 
So you can even take out an entire helicopter. Yeah, humans weren't really uh, ready for this. Suffice to say. Let's get back on the street level. We're getting introduced to a new mechanic we can do here is when we're near an object, a uh, grabbable object, such as the uh, cars in the area, uh, we can press B to pick them up, and we can press right trigger to throw them. We can also, while holding it, uh, press X to do a light attack, and if I pick up another one, we can press Y to do a heavy strong attack. Uh, alternatively, we can also go into- oh, we can't pick up buses. We- ow. We can go in the first person mode by pressing the right uh, stick, aiming around, and we can also press right trigger to aim. This isn't really all that useful later on in the road, but it's useful to use for the time being. As it does deal quite a bit of damage. Then again, a lot of things deal a lot of damage in this game. The very large meteorite crashing through. Let's go ahead and investigate and see what that is. Impossible. Abaddon. What is this? Where are my brothers? This cannot be. The, the final seal. My lord! How did this happen? have you done? I answer the call. And now we're fighting this big guy. This guy is called Straga. He's a commander of Hell's army. So, starting off with the fight, he's first going to toss a couple of cars at us. Uh, he's also going to toss his only weakness. What we need to do is pick up two cars, toss it right at his face. Doing so will make him lower to the ground. He'll also damage us a bit, but not too much. And we're just free to hack away at his face. Now, once we do that, he's going to do a different move. This time he's going to grab the entire street somehow. Like, the entirety of it. And he's just going to drop it. Uh, what you want to do is jump right when he's about to drop it, so that you don't take any damage. Now the next attack he's going to do is a bit of a shockwave attack. He'll ready up and then fire a blasting wave of magma. Uh, simply uh, dash from left to right to dodge it. And pretty simple to get out of the way of. And once he's done all that, he's going to pick up more cars and toss them at us. Ow! So we got to pick it up, toss. Once more, jump so we don't take any damage. While the cars are down, he will try to use the shockwave attack, but if you just toss a car at him right away, he won't be able to do any attacks while the cars are there. He's going to pick up the street once more. There we go. He's going to do a shockwave attack once more. It's a pretty simple fight, but this is the introductory to a boss fight, I guess you can say. 
none of the art bosses really perform like this, but we will be seeing this guy. I'm not going to be saying anything more. A bit of a spoiler to be, if anything. Let's go and pick up these cars. I think when he also does the shockwave attack, he'll also destroy some of the cars, so that you'll miss your chance on actually dealing damage to him there. Let's go ahead and take him out once and for all with Finisher. If 